Hey, Joko of Vanilla, the bath's ready. Ooh, time for some more shower time. Anyway, hello and welcome back to some more Nega Power Volume 1. On our last episode, we took both Joko and Vanilla on a little day at the amusement park. And oh, it was quite thrilling. There was a variety of activities that we had did. Anyhow, let us continue onwards. Hey, Joko of Vanilla. Aww. I guess they were playing all day after all. I looked at their sleeping faces while they snored away on the sofa. I haven't had much time for them up until now, huh? I knew that they were more attached to me than Shigure, but for the past few months, I had been getting ready to move. I was so focused on myself that I didn't have time to play with them. I'm really surprised that things have gone this far. When I first took them home, I had never imagined any of this happening. Owning my own shop one day, and having these two follow after me. And then ended up in this sort of relationship with them. Yeah! But thanks to them, every day is fun. I place my hand gently on their precious cheeks. Aww, wakey wakey, sunshine! It's all good. You're exhausted. I finished all the preparations for tomorrow. It's fine, just go back to sleep. I bite the heads of my two sleepy cat girls. I set them back down on the sofa as they try to get up. That's good. Good thing Cashel did, eh? A brand new kind of experience, eh? With a kind and gentle smile, they lowered their gazes as F savoring their bliss. Oh, we know that much already, love. But it's always nice of you to say so. Oh? Oh, hello, Cass. And another one, maybe? Aww. Chuck and Vanilla laid their heads on my shoulders. After touching my cheeks with their soft lips. Had a lot of fun, too. Thanks. Oh, a double peck. I gave each of them a kiss on the forehead. ほしじいさんのことこうしてもらってるだけですごくドキドキしてI was pressed between two sets of sultry eyes. I'm not so oblivious that I didn't know that what they were getting at. Still in heat, huh? Oh, whoa. They both shook their heads silently. You just came out with it, didn't ya? Okay. <laughs> so much as she wants to have sex. I mean, sure, sure. I won't turn down your request. Chocolate. Oh. Depending on the couple, of course. Or of course. 
Oh, sorry about interrupting you there a little bit, love. It depends on the circumstances, of course. Vanilla. I mean, they both want it. She spoke smoothly as she lured me in with her soft and sensual gaze. Do you really think you even need to ask it at this point? I love both of you. Onto their small thin lips. And then place the lover's kiss. <laughs> they both embraced me tightly in satisfaction. The other way around, eh? Service. Ooh, nelly, 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 nelly. Oh. Familiar territory once again, huh? Yeah, both chocolate and vanilla were very cute. There, there. <laughs> Mostly talking in their sleep. They purred and rubbed their cheeks against me. As I also drifted off into slumber, once again, I continued to pet them gently on the head. We'll take them off together tomorrow when we wake up. Are we going to get that same CG then? I'll wash your hair and bodies and clean you both up. <sighs> yeah, of course. I'll brush it too. As mumbles spilled from their lips, their voices showed up, making it sound like they were taking it, oh, talking in their sleep. I gently embraced both of their heads, whispering to the ears of all of my heart. Let's do our best together, and they're free of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have fun and we'll be all so happy. <gasps> I made that promise to my beloved cat panions. At some point, I mailed it into this blissful moment and rested off to sleep. No. Ugh. Hey, my arms are going numb here. Oh, it's ca it was casual this time. But, you know, he doesn't exist, right? We're going to self insert. Oh, hello there, Shigure. Again, I definitely have to give it to Shigure for being so devoted, even if it has got left those kind of intentions behind all of her motives. <laughs> Sit next to the bed, Shigure, oh, big sigh. Of course, she's just with she's the best for us, though. ケシキには<笑> Huh? For the record, it's not what you two are thinking. <laughs> you two perverts. But face again. 
兄様のおさかんぷりは後で聞かせてもらうとして。My prowess in the sheets. とりあえず病院に行って診察を受けないとですね。Wait a minute. What was that casual little remark just now? 兄様、愛してますよと、いつもの愛のささやきよ。あぶしえと、おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおやっ、yeah, to 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 to、はい、と、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あな死にますよ Yeah, I'd prefer you to be alive, buddy. We need to play the other games after all. Eh, I'm not sure. 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 A widowed cat girl! They'll never find here those words! Anyway, she was angry. Shigure was clearly angry. From my experience, Shigure was at her most upset when she smiled while angry. Even the cat girls themselves seemed pretty serious too. You guys said the scariest things sometimes. <laughs> Oh, now we're getting dark. She said that without missing a beat, smiling as usual. Please don't have jokes like that. So, Shigure is the type of person who would off herself if Kasha was just like done deadly dead. Holy moly! I don't know if I should be impressed or just freaked out with how like crazy loyal she is. I guess. I guess that's admirable, though. Although I don't think Kasha would want that at all. I mean, you would want a year old to just live life as she sees fit, right? Just like, yeah. Well, then again, that is also her choice, so. I don't know. Well, let's get past this gloomy topic now. <laughs> don't shove me in, what is us? Wee oo, wee oo. Um. My vague reply, her face started getting closer and closer. The pressure from her smile was terrifying. At this point, I didn't seem to have a choice. Got it, I'll be a good boy and get some sleep. That's definitely better than being hospitalized. Reason. You mean force in that regard. Intimidation. Get out! I already said it'd be good to get some sleep. Shigure gave a satisfied nod at my answer. At least for today, I'd give in. Plus, it was true that I couldn't work like this. Oh, we'll be up and kicking in no time. Just give this, like, another 20 minutes and we'll be fine! Yeah, I'm fine. There's no point in making this much of a fuss. Are you fainting? <laughs> Are you gonna be a sigh for relief? They're just yawning a bunch. Well, I wasn't really gonna say anything. Don't worry about it. Their long string of yawns was surreal. <laughs> I 
I guess it's pretty common. I felt some muscles loosening up. There's some, like some sort of tension was straining from me. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> it's easy to remember that cat girls really are just cats when you love of them. <laughs> I love Shikari's mannerisms though at times. Lay off with you. Ow, ow, she's got the vanilla look. You're so persistent. I really can't understand her definition of love. It's been like this ever since she was born. True, you know yourself best. You said it yourself that if you get too tired, you don't notice it, right? She stopped straight and stared at me intensely. We waited in silence for a while, yet she still stared at me without budging an inch. Seeing our persistence, I decided to give it and surrendered with a sigh. <sighs> it's because I thought that I had to work harder. I murmured, leaning my head back on the pillow and looking at the ceiling. Recently, I went on a date with chocolate vanilla. It was then that it struck me that they're not just pets, but family. Lovers, even. So I don't want them to have to work hard because of my choice to leave home. Well, it's your own fault our clientele increased too much. As I not to press further, Shigure smiled slightly and tallied her head in response. If she was going to address that issue honestly, she'd have already done so by now. That's how Shigure had always been. She took a deep breath and looked at me with a kind of troubled smile. Hmm. Her smile stabbed at my heart. Those were words that chocolate vanilla would say about me. No, I'm sure these were Shigura's words too. Her smile pierced me, my words were trapped in my throat. I wish you'd say that I'm worthy of being relied upon. She spoke as if she was indulging a t child's tantrum. Sitting next to me, she placed her small hand on my cheek, and ever so slightly closed her eyes. Her slender small hand's warmth was so gentle and loving, the stiffness of my shoulders seemed to melt away. <laughs> Dang it! <sighs> Why you do this, phone? She looked at her phone and furrowed her brows. When Shigura just sat there motionlessly, I could pretty much just figure out who it was. It's from home, right? You should answer. Oh. Huh. The cell phone of Shigure's hand stopped ringing. Shigure fell silent and gripped the cell phone tightly. She spoke in a lonely, frustrated voice with her face downturned. Her voice sounded soft, but was filled with a firm desire. 
You're so silly, Shiguri. Who cares whether you're allowed to or not? I sat up and I wrapped my arms around Shiguri's shoulders. Shiguri let herself rest her head on my chest. I promise I'd look after myself, and I will. Plus, Joke and Vanilla are here, so the three of us will be fine. You said that earlier yourself, remember? I whispered as gently as I could near Shiguri's ear. For her to be so attached to me, it honestly made me really happy. And that was exactly why. I don't want Shiguri to be as calm as I, as I was. The fact that was that Shiguri was still a child, and she still needed that family of ours. She didn't need me leading her astray. If they found out you came here, you'd never be able to come back, right? Also, hold the phone a moment. There we go, my apologies for that. My throat just needed a little bit of clearing because I actually couldn't speak properly otherwise. But yeah, this is really, oh, an emotional moment. I did not expect that with this game initially. I'm going to be honest, from the bench scene to this to everything else that's happened, I'm really liking this visual novel. I could bear it if that happens. And to think there's two more volumes of this and potentially more in the future, right? Of course, why would I lie about that? <laughs> Her sh small soldiers. Shoulders? Bleh. Shook happily. Soldiers? Wait, where's the soldiers? <laughs> no, shoulders. Bleh. I probably didn't have to tell my precocious little sister, but she still gave a small nod at my words. Aww. Okay, just please don't go overboard. She hugged me tighter and placed my, her cheek on my chest. She already was the same as Joe Glenn Vanilla. Giving those words to myself, I hugged her back. Oh! Yeah! Interruptions, excuse me! これも妹の特権なのですよ。いや。兄様。ガラガラガラ。おお。いや、私もガラガラする。ご主人様、転がらってしてください。私のこのビッグウェーブに乗らざるを得ない。But of course. Hey, get the whole family here, why not? Hey, wait, the free of you wants is too heavy, so heavy. Yeah, but we put together. Yeah, oh, I'm the sick person here. The way of the love from the three of them gave no mercy. <laughs> Ooh, transition? Too close, loves you. Lisa, I love you. I might also moderately love you. Oh, Vanilla, you so soon. <laughs> I might love you. <laughs> huh. You know what, folks? I mean, this will be a good time to end this off on a shorter note. And I'll see you all next time with some more Nick Apart Volume 1. I believe that we're getting really close to the conclusion of this particular volume, in fact. And I'm really looking forward to the conclusion. Because then that also means that I can eventually move on to the next subsequent volumes. Probably we'll start with Volume 0 next, actually. But anyway, now that my plans and whatnot, I'll see you all next time with some more Cat Girl goodness. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>